humans so smart? Why are babies so helpless? Welcome to Science Knocks. What do wild tomatoes even look like? What do the white flies do? How do you make uh, uh, flies? What did they make? How did they cook this? That reminds me of something. Totally. Let's talk to the researcher. So we were interested in trying to figure out two mysteries. Um, one of them is why baby humans are so much more helpless than, than other kinds of animals. Um, do you know about other kinds of, of animals and what they're like when they're born? I went to Australia and I saw a baby elephant at the zoo. That's very cool. So, 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 so you know about elephant babies. Um, when they are born, um, they can, within just an hour of their birth, they can stand up and walk around. Um, and if another more dangerous animal comes to attack them, um, the babies can even run away. Yeah, so ba baby humans can't get up and, and run away. So, um, so that was one of the mysteries, is why, why are baby humans um, so much more helpless and why do they need so much more help from their parents? Um, and then the other mystery was, um, why are humans so smart? Um, even our, our close evolutionary relatives, like, like other monkeys, can't do things like science or podcasts, for example. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, so the, 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 the idea that we had um, is maybe, maybe it was the case that um, over time we became more smart uh, in order to um, take care of our more, uh, more helpless infants. People had previously um, noticed that um, because we have big brains, um, this is the reason why we have to be born early. Um, and if you're born early... Um, what that means is you're not ready to do everything that you need to do um, to uh, live yeah. happily <laughs> like by, by yourself. We looked at uh, data from uh, many different types of monkeys and apes, um, and we looked to see if there was a relationship between how much help they needed from their parent um, when they were born um, and how intelligent they were. Hmm. What do you think about that, Nina? So the idea is that the babies need a lot of help when they're born. What are some things that babies need help with when they're born? Um, I mean, when they're newborn, almost everything. Yeah, they have no way to, like, do much things by themselves at all. Yeah, and who helps them? Their parents. Mm -hmm. And That's their big sisters and big brothers. That's that's a really interesting point too. So so um, we didn't talk about that in our in in um, uh, our paper, but that's something else that people think um, also contributed to why we are so smart and why we can have um, uh, such helpless babies. Um, the fact that um, we are social animals that live in groups and we have um, sisters and aunts and uncles and grandmas and grandpas that can help with our babies um, is also believed to be one of the reasons why we were able to become so smart over time. Uh, what we found is um, the longer the uh, baby baby primate got milk from its mom, um, mm -hmm. the more intelligent that species of primate was. And, we looked yeah. we looked mostly at at primates, which are like monkeys and um, apes, because they only have one baby at a time. Um, Even human um, human babies, it. Some humans don't have it one at a time. Some humans have like twins which come out like at the same time. That is a really good point and a very good idea. And actually, um, we were wondering if you could look at anything about twins. Because if twins, um, if there's two of them, uh, twins usually have to come out um, even earlier than, than most babies because there's not enough space in their mom um, for them to, to, to develop um, fully as though it wouldn't, wouldn't it, like the, there is when there's only one. Um, so um, with yep. one, it, there's there's enough space because it's it's the amount of things inside is is not much, but if there's two, it's like double of one. So it's the they have to come out early because then they'll be small enough to squeeze out or that's that's right that's right and so so what you'd expect um if our theory was right um maybe and we don't know 
um, is is um, you could see if the parents of the parents and, and adults that are in families that that have twins that running in their family line, um, if they're more intelligent, um, that would be an interesting prediction that we haven't tested, um, but that we would like to. Um, and I am very impressed that you came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever want to come work in a science lab, um, <laughs> I was like... Thank you for telling us about the baby's brains. I, I like the time with you. Thank you. Oh, they, they, for... thank you. I really, really like the time with you. This was really mm -hmm. fun. And thank you so much for your podcast. I like the time with you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're very welcome. And uh, nice. nice talking to you. Thank you for oh, inviting thank, me. Thank, thank you. Nice I really, really like the time with you. This is really fun. Nana. And thank you so for much for your podcast. Visit us on the web at sciencenox.com. We're on iTunes and on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Check it out.